Hi, welcome everyone. I really want to thank you all for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's looking for a truth. Everyone's waiting for the UFO truth. That's one of the things that a lot of us are waiting for. I show a lot of stuff here. If you're new to the channel, I'm pretty sure you're going to appreciate some of the work. Don't depend on the amount of subscribers. Don't depend on the views or amount of comments that I get. There's a lot more attention to this channel than people think, whether I'm shadow banned or not. There are some controversial things that I've been seeing. So you just saw the sun. This is a Starlink train, a satellite train. The problem is I want you to see the difference with the size of Venus in the bottom. I'm going to show you two captures. I'll put them side by side. See the stars? There's a star. Venus is a bigger star, right? You'll see it on the bottom. I'll show you. Hang on here. I just want you to see them disappearing. Here's another one. Watch how quickly it changes. It's, it's, this is real speed. Imagine one of those satellites, okay? I have the infrared camera. Do you see how dim they are? Watch the mirrors turn. Mirrors turn, they disappear. These are the two instances. On the right, you see Venus, which is good to get a scale size of the lights that you're looking at. Tiny, 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 and they're just going up. They were launched that day. This is just last summer, right? So when you see them going up in the sky like that, they're going to go up even higher. So the UFOs that I see that are really close to the ground and the one that came down to the house, it's definitely not satellites. Watch it flicker as they uh, turn off um, not turn off, sorry, as they turn away supposedly the mirrors. We don't see those satellites for very long. It's only because they're over the horizon and the sun just went down. The launch a couple of hours ago, and it's coming over Quebec as they head towards the north. So it's important to see the difference in sizes. I'm filming UFOs, and these are 160 satellites. Imagine one alone. You wouldn't see it. Well, here, let me show it to you. That's the one that came to the house. 10, 15 feet from me, my friends. So it's not a satellite. You see the size of it? You see what it's doing? It slowed down. It stopped at one point. So the Pentagon's not talking for nothing about the lights that they're not too sure about. There's something outside of Earth that possibly has infiltrated us. If I was to do the opposite and say, look, satellites, guys, I was able to film one uh, uh, close. It's, it came down to the house on the right. And look on the left. There's no zooming up, by the way. These are real shots on the left, real shot on the right, real shot. Same size stars, except that object is no satellite. So you can be sure the Pentagon is looking through files just like this. Possibly this one, too. So doesn't it scare you that one's not a satellite? Or if it is, what would it be doing down by the house? I thought space was holding these things up. Are they actual free energy UFOs roaming around? There are some, but I just don't think it's our government. Not in Canada. Could be the States, could be China, and again, could be alien. Here. Hey, bud. Oh. You're going straight for a plane, man. Watch it. Where the hell did that plane come from? Well, chemtrail, I bet you. Go right by it. See if I can see at the same time. Oh, there's another one there. What the hell was that flash? Now watch that UFO as it approaches the plane. Literally, boom, it disappears. Watch. I, I'm showing the plane saying, guys, look at the plane, how close it is. And it's gone. One of 10 times, at least, that I've seen the UFOs turn off their lights when they are close enough to planes. And don't forget, the depth of field, it's not easy to know how far away or how close they are to one another because they're only in our field of view. I get it. But in general, when you see them turn their lights off like that, like suspiciously, it's visual proof. So they're, I'm just trying to look for it. Just trying to document visual proof from what I see. Listen, I'm not doing anything different 
than what the Pentagon is doing. Did you know? Did you know that? Seriously, there. It's hard to say what they're doing. The Pentagon, because here's an object. While SpaceX was launching stuff and Starship went up, failure and success at the same time. There was an explosion. There's uh, satellites that were launched the day before. Haven't been seeing any lights in the sky that much these days. But watch this. This object's going to go by. Like I said, cat, catching visual proof because this is something that's spiraling around. There's a lot of characteristics that I try and notice. And so does the Pentagon. So does Arrow, the Unidentified Aerial Task Force. You know, they, it's exciting because even though we say, oh, they're not talking much, they're talking a lot. They're actually scrambling. And you can see that, you know, amongst the war that's going on, they are having a hard time sharing with other countries. I think it's always been that countries have a hard time um, associating themselves together you know, partnerships and stuff are always done, but it seems that they're always done through just bloody secret projects. That was yesterday, and I put that on Patreon. I wanted to show you that. Something spiraling around near the sun. Not much in the sky yet. Oh, summer's coming, boy, I can't wait. And uh, surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, yesterday wasn't able to see the exoplanet going by or in the eastern sky. Why? Well, because it was raining, um, even hailing at one point, thunder and lightning at one point, even here yesterday while I was even streaming. And this triangle, just, just last summer, guys, I mean, no hype at all. That's a black, dark triangle, and you could see it really damn well. And that's going, it looks like it's going sideways, right? Right beside the sun with the isosceles triangle nose pointed upwards. Here, we'll back it out, try to put a green filter to see it better. You notice how we, this is cool, we can only see it going by the sun, right? Because the light's there beside the sun, and that's where it picks up, you know, as much as possible. Last year, I started showing things like this, objects actually spiraling out of control, and I've shown them before, but last year there was lots of them. And you're going to see this one is actually on fire. And I'm going to change it. I'm going to quite simply show it to you in a negative with the green filter. I've always shown and said and shared exactly how I do these things. These are captures that we know that aren't insects. So really happy to get it. People, well, people, some people got mad because they said I was catching a lot of objects compared to other people. Well, I may be quite simply, and I am, outside filming more hours than other people. If anyone goes outside and looks up in the sky... Maybe your area is not active. Maybe I'm in Montreal. It's a UFO capital of the world, guys. There's a lot of UFO activity here. But when we see things like that, don't forget the coronal mass ejections, the plasma that lifts off the sun, there's some plasma that stays around the sun. Did you know that? That could be quite simply debris from NASA, from SpaceX rockets. For those that don't think it is, they're talking about it on those. The sun always produces the clouds, and so does the moon. And the clouds in the sky, when you're looking at the sky a lot, you'll notice they often, around the ring-lit area of the sun, you can see the clouds forming. It's just something beautiful, though, eh? Boy, nature is so mysterious. So this will be fun. Let's analyze, before going on the moon, analyze this one to see what it is. Well, that one's flashing, doesn't look like it's spiraling around, but it's far away. Whoop, nice flash there. Watch this. There's a flash. Oh, we're getting a bit closer to the object. Watch. What do you think? At one point, right about now, you're going to see. Is it this one? That it looks like it's spiraling around? Hold on. It could be debris going by, right? Look at that flash. Pretty incredible.
and its primary goal is to return humans to the moon and specifically was said the lunar south pole by 2025 if successful it will include the first crewed lunar landing mission so they say since apollo 17 which was in 1972 supposedly the last lunar flight of the apollo program well there's also speculation about where they're going to land there was also mention and said not to be excluded the possibility of them returning that's right to an old landing location here's an object that is stuck around in the atmosphere of the sun yes the sun does have an atmosphere see that we could actually take a look at that even a little closer. Wow. They're rare to catch, so when you see them, whoa. You want to get in. You want to look at them. This is a capture not long ago, just at the end of the winter. Look at that go by. What the heck is that object? Well, it's easy. It could be plasma. It could be debris. They're sending probes all over the place. Everybody, I can't thank you enough for the amazing support that you give this channel. It is shadow banned, it's attacked, you name it, but it doesn't matter. There's a little bit of people in this world that want to know the truth, and thanks for supporting this channel. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions, and thanks for watching the videos. Doesn't matter cause the slow just coming soon. The slow just coming soon.